Hi, today I'll talk about editable template. This tutorial is important for a basic understanding of editable template as well as for interview question. So as part of this tutorial, I'll talk about all the basics of editable template. So you must understand few points if you compare this with the normal static templates. Any author which has a permission to create template can create template. You do not need any support for the developer to create any template. Only template author having a proper permission can create any number of the templates. Template admin or template author can define the layout of the template or later on they can change or update the layout of the template as well. Author or the template admin can define what component will be allowed on that particular page or what kind of component will be there pre-existing when the page will be created. So apart from that component, the component can have a content as well. So if we add some component in a template, so those components will be there on the resulting pages. Means uh, when we create any page, author can define these component with content will be there on that newly created page as well. Editable templates contain a dynamic reference or a dynamic connection to its pages. What does it mean? Let's say you created some pages using a template and later on if you update that template, let's say you update the layout of that template. So the changes you made to that template, those will be reflected to your pages as well. So any change you made to template, those changes will be reflected to the resulting pages as well. Now you know template author or template admin can create templates like we create pages and the authors can define the layout as well as can add other features to these templates. But to create templates means you must have some functionality available like you will be creating these templates from some other templates. So for that purpose we call it template type. So while creating template you must have template type. And this template type is used to create these templates, but we will we have to add some basic feature to these templates like which will be available like we had in static templates. So the same way we have a page component here in this page component, we define all the scripts required to provide the features to these template and this page component is referred in this template type. So now you must understand template author does not have or template admin does not have any access to code still they are able to define layout using ui and they are able to add other features so these features these functionality should be provided somewhere so now your developer scope start here so if you seeing the left hand side means the page component and template type are created by developer which are the basic feature or basic functionalities to create editable templates so now you must understand the scope of template authors and the developers developer are responsible for creating template type as well as the required base page component now let's say you have a template type using that template type you created few templates and from these templates you created few pages so the reference or the connection between editable template and pages are always dynamic means if you update anything to this template editable template you change any functionality those will be reflected to these pages so it's a dynamic connection but if you talk about the reference or the connection between the template type and template are static so after you created this template let's say you created this template and after this you update something here so those changes will not reflect here after those making these changes in template type if you create the template number two so those features will be available in template two not one so that's why the reference or the connection between template type and editable templates is static wherein the reference or the connection between the template and pages are dynamic so the structure of template type and template is exactly same. They have initial JCR content structure policies and thumbnail. We'll talk about these in detail and I'll show you a demo as well. So in template, there is an additional property called template type, which refer 
to the template type it has an additional property in template which define from which template type this template has created so now you must understand what is the purpose of these structure or the nodes initial structure policies so initial you define the the initial content and the component which will be available when you create a page let's say in initial section you add one component as well as you added some content to that component so when you create that page this component along with that content will be available over page so this this content or component can be edited from content author structure you define what kind of what component will be available to add on that page as well as you can define the component along with content that will be available over page when you create page so you see here in the initial as well as structure in both you can add component right the initial components which will be available over page along with the content then what is the difference so the basic difference is the component you added in initial section you can remove those but the components means the component along with content you added in structure section those you cannot remove those will be there on page always you cannot del delete those and also you define what components will be allowed to add on page using policies so this is the purpose of the policy so if you have already worked on static templates there is a design node we used to call it so the all the features available along with new features available using the policies you can define in policy what component will be allowed along with some other additional features will cover all these features once i will cover policies so in about two sections if you want to allow what component will be allowed basically you add a policy here right and in policy you define what component will be allowed and thumbnail you know what is the thumbnail will be available while uh, you know for creating template now let's understand the structure of editable templates so editable templates and all the uh related to editable template stay in con folder there should be the con folder you should create your own folder on project specific folder here right under that you should have a settings then wcm and under wcm you have three folders right three three nodes you can say of cq page type these are self explanatory all the templates you will be creating those will be under this templates all the uh, template type which are available to create templates will be under template type and all the policy you will be created will be under the policy section so when you create template using template type how template type will be resolved or how template type will be available to create template so first of all it will check inside your own folder I mean on project specific folder let's say it's a geeks project so first it will check means the ui uh, the all the template type available under template type will be available if there is a no template type it will check for the inside conf.global if nothing is there then it will check inside apps settings wcm template type whatever the template type available inside this if the template type are not available here itself then it will go to libs settings wcm template type that's why when you initially you create a new folder and you start creating template you see the html5 template which are defined inside this libs folder one more point you must understand template type are resolved based on the relative path what does it mean so template type you have template type under this so inside path you should have this settings slash or forward slash wcm if you don't have this relative path means at least this path you can have anything before that so if it is not there your template won't be available or won't be resolved so you must understand when you create your own folder this should be the settings forward slash wcm inside path before that you can have anything now let me show you the structure or folder structure of editable templates in crxt 
So all your editable templates stay in the conf folder. Go to the conf and then your project specific folder. You will have a standard settings and then WCM under which you have all these template policies and template type. So you can be in two situations now. If your project code is new and you are you created using Maven archetype, it will create a whole folder structure for you and you can move on and you can create your alt template type and templates. But in case you are using old code base which is before 6.3 and now you want to create editable templates so you can create this structure manually or you can go to this template uh, sorry tools and inside tools configuration browser you can create one folder for you let me create this let's say test test and you must enable this means the editable tab editable templates are allowed in this folder you must create this so once you have created this you will find now go to tools and then templates so now you'll find your own folder newly created folder test now you can create the templates under this test now you will see a new folder in conf is also created as whenever you create that in configuration browser test if you see we created test and we have all whole folder structure so now you can create this way manually i hope you understood the basics of editable templates if you have any question please do comment thank you